Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Quan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raids Willing Specialist account. Every 75 Raids I can go for 1 of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 Soul Raids. Please enjoy the series. On the last episode, we made some monumentous gains because I ended up getting the Dragon Hunter Lance, which was the last mandatory item that I can get on the account for the solo raid setup. And the Lance is nasty because it is basically one of the biggest upgrades I can ever get. I saved the best for last. And yeah, it's about 4 max hits higher than my Rapier, which was what I was mainly using for Chambers at Ulm as well, so the Lance will give me an insane uh, speed increase at rates. And of course, we gotta go for PBs. It's been a bit since I went for any PBs. I think we had 1804 for our last uh, Solo Race PB. So with the Lance, the goal is to smash and go under 18 minutes. So we're gonna try to aim for something in the 17s. Probably gonna do more speed runs in the future as there are some other plans that I'm still working on for gear. Like the Sang Staff, I'm working on that right now. So having that in the future would also prove for better times. But for now, for the focus of this episode, we're going to at least go for our first new PB with the Lance. And there are some new techniques that I have yet to adopt for my speedruns, which I will cover very soon in this video. So there is one big strategy, or I guess a group of strategies that I want to practice for and get good at. So I can use it for my speedruns. It involves the agility room with the rope and we are going to enhance our rope skipping strategy with phoenix necklaces and bruise over the dense bulwark. I'll explain in more detail in a second why that's better and all that stuff and like how skipping the room works in general. So one of the most common strategies that people use to save a lot of time when they are going for their solo chamber speed run is to skip the rope room. What that means is instead of killing the monsters that are in that room that are guarding the crystal, you just say, screw it, I'm not killing them, I'm just gonna go straight through them, just tank the hit somehow, get the crystal and open the door and forget about them, which saves a ton of time, you know, usually at least a minute or so, which is huge. And there's many ways to do it. The method that I used to use is to tank with a Din's Bulwark, right? So just eat up to full, tank with Din's, and hopefully across the rope, without dying and cross back without dying as well. Now the Din's Bulwark is a bit outdated nowadays because it's quite heavy which takes a toll on your stamina and also there are just simply better methods nowadays. Um, one of them which is what I will be talking about now is the Phoenix Necklace methods. In the background you'll see some of my attempts of doing the Phoenix Necklace methods that are probably not done correctly but later on you'll see a proper one. So there is the single Phoenix Necklace method and there's a double Phoenix Necklace method. And the perks of this method is that it's very reliable and it also doesn't cost a ton of stamina because it's very light. So the Phoenix Necklace methods was primarily discovered by Megalo Kirby, so credit to him. In order to explain the method, I have to explain to you what the Phoenix Necklace does for those of you guys that don't know. What is the Phoenix Necklace? The Phoenix Necklace is a jewelry piece that you can wear on your neck slot that if your HP goes down to under 20 instead of 0, then it will restore 30% of your life points. And this is really, really important because somehow the methods where you cross the rope, if you time it correctly, you will be able to negate a lot of the damage and whatever damage is left over, if done right, will most likely proc the Phoenix Necklace, which will most likely save you. And that's kind of like the gist of how the method works. It's definitely more intricate, but for a layman explanation, I think that will suffice. So the Phoenix Necklace methods requires extremely precise clicking, timing, and positioning. So if you don't do any of those correctly, then the chance of doing it properly goes down a ton. And there's two methods, like I said. There's a single Phoenix Necklace method and there's the double. So I initially tried the single Phoenix Necklace method rope skip and it was extremely hard to do consistently. I could not get it down consistently even after some decent practice and I realized that you know what it doesn't matter because I'm always going to have at least two Phoenix Necklaces for rope skipping so there's really no need to learn the single one. 
And luckily, the double Phoenix Necklace method is way easier to do, way more consistent and way more safe. I think I got that method down on like my first or second try and then I streaked multiple successes. So yeah, it's really freaking good. Here is a graph of the success rate if you do it correctly. So as soon as you are at around 24 HP, your success rate is already at 96% if you do everything correctly. At 42, which is like one of the worst, it's 94%, which is still amazing. And then at 121, the success rate is highest at 97%. So yeah, it's crazy. Even on a low end of 24, your success rate is almost 100%. So it's crazy good. With the single one, I had to try to drink a brew, grab the crystal, and put on the phoenix necklace all within basically like a tick or two perfectly without uh, any delays incredibly tough to do whereas the double phoenix necklace method i start off by wearing my first phoenix necklace and then i cross the rope after i cross the rope the first time all i gotta do is click on the crystal properly and right before i make it to the rope again i just have to put on the phoenix necklace so yeah it's a lot less clicking way easier time now that my two phoenix necklace rope skip method practice is sorted and i got it down pretty much i'm just gonna warm up and yeah do a few raids test out the lance normally and yeah we should be able to go for some pbs so there's definitely a slight disadvantage to using the lance at raids over the rapier outside of ohm because the rapier is stronger than the lance if it's not against ohm for example vanguards the rapier is definitely noticeably better against vanguards. So what that means is I might want to try to use the scythe a bit more at vanguards for example, but it's definitely riskier because scythe can definitely reset a lot higher. So we're gonna have to mess around with that. Damn, oh my goodness, the lance is so gross. Holy shit. Holy crap, I haven't used the lance in a while and yeah, wow, it is just... Oh my goodness. It's monstrous. Alright, so we're gonna try our first speedrun, except this layout is incredibly experimental. No crabs. Four bosses. Tekton and Monodao are like the two jokers of this raid. So there's only a handful of specific rotations that I can do that usually involves agility room and crabs that allows me to get a super fast time. So to get a time that's under 18 minutes, a few of those rotations have Tekton in it, uh, like Tekton, Fasa, Vespila rotation. For Tekton, if I cannot kill it within about two rotations, then I pretty much have to leave the raid because, yeah, that's just how big of a deal the Tekton RNG is. Because after a while, the defense goes back and you don't have the Warhammer to speed it up. So it's GG, gotta reset. Alright, we got another scout. We got... Vespila type rotect on Fossa. Really hard, but if I get lucky on Vespila, I can uh, probably do well. But yeah, this requires some extremely good RNG though. On Vespila, no overload Vespila. This is actually like theoretically the fastest raid that you can do possible, but that requires a twisted bow. So without it, it's definitely one of the uh, less reliable ones for me. Holy shit, it's working though. Oh really? Dang, so close. Come on. Yo, actually, damn, we did it. 46 HP. Oh, no, 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 no. I just realized I don't have space. Do I? Okay. Damn, I had to drop a brew, but... I don't know if I did this. Oh! Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh wait, my super combat. No, I left it on the ground. Oh, yeah, it's GG. This way it's GG. I don't have my super combat, I can't hit. So I messed up this one really bad because I forgot to pick up my super combat. Just didn't hit my specs at all. So GG, another try failed. On my next attempt, I made one mistake. I forgot to pre pop my Venge, which is especially important because Fasa was first in this layout which means that i could inflict about 80 or so free damage back to the boss without me doing anything but i didn't have that so i lost a lot of time and i yeah basically it was a reset 
So this was my only other full attempt that I did before I actually got my PB. So this one, I started out pretty well with Tecton, except I made one mistake where I dodged it a little bit too much and I missed the timing and it made it go back to the end vault earlier. So I probably lost a good amount of time there, like maybe 10, 20 seconds. And yeah, everything else went pretty well. I did the skip correctly. And unfortunately, crabs were a little bit uh, scuffed as well. I lost probably like 10, 20 seconds there. And oh, unfortunately, I didn't get lucky with my specs. Missed uh, about half my Warhammers. So yeah, I could not use the scythe uh, to its maximum potential there. But the lance did help carry. I still ended up getting around like a 10 minute or so home. And yeah, I just missed the PB by about 23 seconds. So if I didn't make any of those mistakes, I probably could have PB'd already then and there. Oh, I'm dead. <gasps> no, that's that's a problem. I should pray melee. What was I thinking? Shit. Oh, no, no, no. No, what am I doing? I got poison. Are you serious? GG. I already have to leave. Dang it. Oh, yeah, I don't have enough prayer. I wish I had enough prayer, dude. I don't have enough. Ah, uh, yeah, this raids a bus. Oh my god, why are we fucking up so much? I need to check my inventory more carefully next time. Are you serious? Come on, dude. Okay. Definitely already way too slow. <laughs> So we have this interesting layout here, Tecton, Fossa, Tightrope, Guardians, and Crabs. Guardians is pretty fast as well, so I think there's potential. Yo, let's go! Let's go! I'm good for now. Really? Oh. Let's go. Yes. Okay. Can't mess this up. Ah, <sighs> all righty. Three brewers? Not ideal, but whatever. It's alright. The least expected layouts ends up being some of the more promising ones. Unbelievable. No way! Oh my goodness, man. Terrible crap spawn. Not very ideal, but we make do with what we got here. 734 is pretty good. If I do a 10 minute ohm, that, that'll, that'll be a PB. So. And with this, with the lance, you know, it should be. Oh, crystal face left. Yes, yes, yes. No way, dude. You have to be kidding me. No way. Oof, I took the risk. Bro, why are we splashing? Excuse me, why are we splashing right now? Are you serious? Four splashes in a row. Share with the prayer balls, please. Okay. Alright, still not the worst thing ever. It's okay. It's alright. We can do something with that. Let's go. Oh my god, Lance popping off right now. Keep going, Lance! I trust you! Oh, 
Holy Lance, baby. I love you. Thank you so much, Lance. I really needed that shit to pop off. Just saying. Okay, now I can do the scythe method. Come on, I have enough food now. Uh, to hopefully do this. I just need this- I just need this hammer to land. Come on, baby. No! Why? Ah, man. So, I made a mistake at Ulm involving when to use the lance versus the scythe. So, I normally use the scythe on the third phase to do the 7-3 uh, mage scythe method. But, because I missed the Warhammer spec, I should just have been using the lance. Because lance is better if uh, specs don't land. So, yeah, I probably lost a little bit of time on there. But, next, you know, next PB attempts will definitely take more of that into account when I miss specs and when to use the right weapons. Yes! Yes! No! Oh my god, are you serious? Shit, 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 shit. Oh, that's so unlucky. Please die. I still PB'd, but not by much. Oh, I still pb but not by much. Ah, oh, man, this is this is the only time I've pb where I've died once like that. I still did it, though. <laughs> I still did it, though. Oh, my God. Oh. Nice, we still beat our time by five seconds. But, uh, yeah, we're going to keep trying to, you know, do the TOB and try to get the Sang Staff. And, uh, yeah. Maybe with the Sang Staff though, we can really push it because, man, it really came really close with the food. Also, with that the Sang Staff, I can't take as much hits for more DPS, so... So, yeah. The, the Trident, you know, it's definitely holding me back a bit. So, going forward, the last 70 or so raids, I'm going to be mixing it up with uh, more speedruns in the future after the Sang. And challenge mode raids, yes, because why not end the series with some extra difficult raids to make these last Sunday chambers feel like it's just an extravagance of content, you know? Challenge mode raids, PB runs, all the way to the very end, you know? So look forward to it, guys. Lots of extra spicy raids content. Damn, the Lance is pretty poo poo on the crystals compared to the, uh, to the rape here, at least. I think it's time to start trying to experiment with scything the crystals in a normal fossa. I heard that it was pretty decent, so. So yeah, let's uh, give it a try, I guess. Uh, just gotta upkeep this. Wow, what the heck is this? Beautiful. Rewards. 20k. Wow, that's insane. <laughs> That is another man's trash is another man's treasure, you know? <laughs> wow. Yeah, so the Brimstone Rings, 1 in 4 chance to lower or ignore 10% of defense on, on the uh, melee phase is going to be, I think, slightly better than Sears. Also, I want to try something a little new. I don't think this is going to be efficient at all, but uh, in order to make Zora maybe slightly more interesting, I want to try out something that I always thought would be really interesting. Instead of uh, bringing like normal spellbook or, you know, vengeance, I'm going to try some blood bar barraging to heal up. Uh, particularly when the boss dives and like there's a bunch of snakings around, I can probably just like heal off of them. They usually clump up together pretty nice, so. Might be able to get some really good heals. Which, which would allow me in theory to stay a bit longer 
I guess, but yeah, I don't think it's gonna be like efficient or anything, but I thought it'd be fun. In terms of fun, I think that's very efficient. <laughs> oh damn, Brimstone Rain coming in. What the defense ignore? Not really needed on the green phase, but this phase though. Will come in clutch. Nice, there we go. I finally found like a, a decent time to use the uh the blood barrage there. It hasn't really been easy actually ma making it work, so yeah. So my hun hunch was correct that it was probably not going to be super efficient, but... I'll spend like an hour and do some experimenting though at least. Alright, please die. Oh, come on, dude. You're so close. This would kind of be... This would kind of work right there. I can do that, for example. Just die, please. Oh, come on. Okay, so this rotation looked kind of good for the blood barrage. Oh, can I reach it from there? Ooh, that's cool. Oh, okay, that's kind of fun. All right, that was a pretty good time to use it there. Really tricky to time though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm already doing a lot of like multitasking. Yeah, so on this rotation green, th this uh, mob thing actually works out alright. With the blood barrage, is actually pretty good. Take it easy, my friend. Ooh, that was pretty sick. Okay, I'm starting to get a bit more tactical with my... Uh, with my blood barrages there, it's cool. So, I've done enough Zora now with the blood barrage, you know, extra shenanigans. And I've got enough scales, and from what I could tell, there's definitely some potential, like... For very long trips, maybe, it's it's definitely something to consider. But I think on this account, it's probably not too worth it, because I have to use house tabs, which adds up time. So maybe on an account with, like, a con cape would be nice, so you can teleport and not have to make tabs. Maybe on my main account. I would like to revisit this on my main account at some point on iron bar that should be interesting we'll have better um insight on this method in the future thank you guys for watching today's video if you found this video to be enjoyable consider giving it a like we also have a friends chat feel free to join that if you want to hang out and also consider subscribing and ring the bell that way you will get all video notifications and if you have Amazon Prime, feel free to subscribe on twitch.tv slash riceclub and you can financially support me for free through Amazon Prime. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.